All right, in today's video, I'm gonna be making a 3D object. It's gonna be a ball or a sphere, and I'm gonna be doing it using Java 3D. So I'm just gonna create, I've created a class here. I'm just gonna import the same things that I imported the last video and dot j3d dot utils dot geometry. This is for creating shapes and it'll be used in just one second. And the other thing is import com.sun.j3d dot utils dot universe. Now this is for creating our simple universe. And also we need to import javax.media.j3d dot star and you'll see what this is for in a second and import javax dot vec math dot star and you'll see what these are in just one second so i've imported my four import statements now i'm just going to create a main here public static void main and after this main uh after this main, I'm going to start off by creating my simple universe. So the same way I did in the last video. So simple universe, uni is equal to new simple universe. So simple universe basically just contains all our objects. So next I'm going to create a structure to contain objects. Now in Java, the way we uh, uh, create this is just by doing branch group group is equal to new branch group now to create a 3d object i'm gonna have to make it so that the way the light falls on an object is provides us with the shading that helps us see in three dimensions so i'm gonna create proper shading so that we can see our um whatever we're creating our ball in three dimensions so i've created the simple universe and i've created the branch group now next i'm gonna create our sphere so sphere ball is equal to new sphere now in the brackets goes the size so i'll just put 0 0.5 and i'll have to put f after that to indicate to java that it is a float so we've created a ball the size of 0 0.5 and then we're just going to add it to our group so group dot add child now remember everything we add are children of the group so Every time we add something, it's been being added to this group, and this group is just gonna get larger and larger and larger. And yeah, and I'm also gonna add the the group to the uh, universe. Now that's done. Now at this point, it's just gonna create a normal ball. However, we want a 3D ball. So how do we make things 3D? We need a directional lighting. So the way the light falls upon the object makes the actual object 3D. Now for directional lighting, we need, this is how we create directional light lighting. Directional light, light is equal to new directional. As you can see, most of the things in Java 3D are quite similar. Now we need two things. We need a color and a direction for directional light so that program knows where to put the light so I'm gonna create the color and the direction right now same way color 3f color is equal to new color 3f now in the brackets for this goes the RGB scale red green blue so I can create whatever color I want so zero red uh, zero green and two blue so th I'll just make uh, you can put this two number anything whatever though we create a green or sorry a blue color so that's done done now next we need to create our direction however before we do that we need to make a bounding sphere for this color and i'll show you what a bounding sphere is so bounding sphere bounds is equal to new bounding sphere we just have to tell java where to uh we just have to tell Java where to uh, shine this light on. So it doesn't really matter where we shine it on. We just need to tell Java where to shine our uh, our directional lighting on. So I'll just go in the brackets goes the center radius, the center, and then comma the radius. So I'll go new point 3D, 
and then I'll just go zero 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 and our radius I'll doesn't matter I'll make it a thousand or whatever because in a normal program if this was an actual program you wouldn't want our directional light to be a thousand radius that would be larger than the whole screen but since it doesn't matter we're just gonna make the make it make our light the size of the whole screen so that's that and now we can just go light dot set influencing bounds and we can just go bounds okay and now we still need a direction and a direction is actually really easy to make in java remember everything is in 3d so vector 3f and i'll call it direction because i've already put direction there is equal to new vector 3f now in the brackets goes the the axis so there's an x-axis y-axis and a z-axis so the x-axis goes uh well i guess you can say the x-axis goes in and out so first the first number is the z-axis z-axis goes left and right and our z so at this point i can just put any number a positive or negative so I'm gonna make my light go from top left to bottom right out of the screen so to do that you just go so you need three numbers here and the first number I can put a positive number this indicates that the light is going to the right positive and I'll make it five actually and the second number is up or down if you want down, you put a negative number. If you want up, you put a positive number. I'll put negative. Um, negative six. And the last one is in it, into the screen, out of the screen. And I'll just put uh, into the screen. I don't know. It does, it's not going to make a big difference. Put negative ten. So this is the first one is left, right. The second one is up, down, and the third one is into the screen, out of the screen. It's just like an X, Y, and a Z axis if, you, if you're into calculus. Now, last thing we have to do is we just go group dot add child. So we are going to add this other child and we're going to add our light to our group. So essentially, we're done. Except we just have to go uni dot get viewing platform and dot set nominal view if this was a real program you'd actually set your um your, your viewing platform but at this point i'm just gonna make it nominal which basically just centers it so we created our sphere here in this line uh 0.5 size and then we add the sphere to our group and we add the group to our universe and now these these couple of lines they're just making the sphere look 3d and all they do is you just go color 3f just makes it colored and actually i'll change the color and make it two and two makes it yellow and the bounding sphere it just shines from the center it doesn't really matter because it's shining through the whole program so it doesn't matter whether we put this to 1000 or whatever size we put it to so and the vector 3f direction that just indicates direction so it's to the right going down and into the screen and so we create our directional light with our color which we created up here and our direction which we created right here and then we just set it influencing bounds so it knows where to shine basically everywhere and we have a uh, three okay there you go so here's our sphere it's more of a 3d sphere than we've seen before and now it actually looks like the light the light is shining from this side and that's how i said it, it's shining to the right down and into the page so it's shining to the right as you can see the shadow coming up right here and you can also create other kinds of lights and yeah you can uh mix mix and match colors so that comes up with a better uh color for your object all right thanks for watching and uh see you later